in a world of ordinary mortals, you are Wonder Woman. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Wonder Woman today. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this empowering, beautiful, amazing Wonder Woman look. I absolutely love Wonder Woman. She is the best superhero of all time. She is my idol. She's confident, she's smart, she's a warrior. She has superpowers. She's just as strong as any other guy out there, any other male superhero. I collect a lot of Wonder Woman things. Like I have Wonder Woman makeup, and I'm so glad that I actually get to add this to my collection. This is the Luxie Wonder Woman face brush set. So you get five face brushes to build an indestructible complexion. And then you also get a mirror and you get a carrying case for the brushes as well. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I'll be using this in this tutorial today, and if you guys wanna see me use it, please keep watching, but if you wanna check it out, I'm gonna have everything linked down below that I use in this makeup look. So this look is inspired by a modern Wonder Woman. I also included a little twist, a little throwback twist, Linda Carter. Tulip options, classic red, and then the modern nude that Gal wears in the movie. I think this look can be worn any day. I mean, Wonder Woman's look is classic, so classic. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you love this video so far, be sure you like it, subscribe, share with friends. And if you guys wanna see how I got this Wonder Woman look, then please keep on watching. If you wanna look bronze like Gal in the movie, you're gonna wanna bronze yourself. So I'm gonna be using the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream by Loving Tan and Ultra Dark. This is an instant color, so you can just blend this all over your body. You're instantly tan. This is not a self tanner. It's really easy to use and I love it. This is like my favorite thing to get that beautiful bronze glow going on. It actually has like shimmer in it. So if you go in the sun with this, you're really gonna glow. So for primer today, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a forever fave for me. It's amazing. I'm gonna be using this on the flat Kabuki. When you get the set, there's a pamphlet inside of the brush set that tells you every brush name and what you can use it for, which I think is really helpful. So I'm gonna use this to apply my primer. It looks like it would be really good for that and also foundation. These brushes are just so pretty. You don't even wanna use them. It feels really soft. I can definitely say that it's very soft on the face. And I always love brushes that just glide makeup on. They don't scratch your face. Feels good. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I'm gonna actually use this again on the flat Kabuki. What I like about this is I got it in Sun Glow, so this is actually gonna make my face a little bit tanner. Grab some of it on the flat Kabuki. Go ahead and apply that. Smells so good too. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using the Benefit Brow Pencil Goof Proof and Number Five. The really cool thing about this mirror is that it actually has like a zoom mirror and then one that's a little bit farther away. But for this look today, I wanna do something that is like the glam version of Gal's look in the movie. So basically her look, but a little bit more so enhanced and more glamorous. I wanna do something really bronzy and true to her look, but just kind of amped up. Super quick brows, that's why I love this pencil. Now you're gonna wanna set your brows and I'm gonna be using the Ready Set Brow Gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of fray the hairs out. I like to give like a really naturally bushy look to my brows. I feel like this also makes them look a lot fuller when you do this. To get started on the eyes, I'm gonna prime my lids using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light. For this look today, we're gonna to be using the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die Palette. This palette's awesome for this look because it has tons of bronzy shades. The first shade I'm gonna grab out of this palette is the shade called Abigail. This is gonna be our transition color. Go ahead and grab that and pop it into the crease. All right, so next I'm gonna grab the shade Caitlyn. It's right below Abigail. This looks like a more deeper version of Abigail. It's a little bit more orange. That's basically the key of this look. You just wanna kind of deepen up bronzes and create just something really beautiful and very blown out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Josie, which is a dark brown, and I'm gonna pop that right in the outer corner of the eye. What you wanna do with this color is you just wanna kind of creep it right into the crease of your eye very lightly. I have hooded type eyes, so it is a little harder, but you can go above where your crease should be if you have eyes like mine. So now I'm gonna pick up this darker brown called Courtney, and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Carly, the black, and I'm gonna further deepen this out. Just concentrating this color very lightly in the outer V of the eye, and just smudging this onto the lash line super lightly, just to add a little bit of drama going on by the lashes. And lastly, I'm picking up a little bit more of the shade Caitlyn, and I'm going over everything just to blend it and kind of tone down any dark shades. 
So now we're gonna pick up the shades Jessica and Nancy. These are really beautiful, like bronzy colors. And I'm gonna pop this right onto the lid. So now I'm gonna pick up the shade Josie again, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna pick up the shade Isabella and a little bit of Fiona. These are both really pretty shimmery colors. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my brow bone. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, these shades are just so poppin'. And now using my Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush, I'm gonna grab the shade Fiona, which is the white shimmery shade. And I'm gonna pop this right into the inner corner of the eye. And now that we have the eyes almost done, we're gonna add a baby wing, just the smallest little baby. And I'm gonna be using the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner Brush Tip, and this is in black. Now I'm gonna add some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna be using my faves, the Coco Goddess Lashes. These are so beautiful. They're very kind of flared out and they make your eyes look very long. These lashes look so good even without any eye makeup on. You could just pop these on and they completely transform your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm. This is by Tasha. This is the Gold Spun Lip Balm. It's amazing. Just wanna hydrate my lips and kind of prep them before we apply lipstick later. Literally the best lip balm in the entire world. Tatcha Gold Spun Lip Balm. I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face with the Hydrating Milky Mist by Pixi. I love applying this before foundation because it gives you a really soft, beautiful glow underneath and it also really preps your skin. It's like a mist on moisturizer, so this adds a ton of hydration. And we're going for a really glowy look today. So for foundation today, we are going to be mixing some things. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Pro Glow in shade 203. I'm mixing it with my Fluid Sheared by Armani in the shade number two. This is more of like a liquid highlighter and mixed in with the Pro Glow, it just gives you the most beautiful, flawless, glowy skin. So I did about two pumps of the highlighter and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one really good size amount of the Pro Glow. And to apply the foundation, I'm going right back in with the flat Kabuki brush. See, it's like blending it really easily into my skin. Definitely a nice flawless application. I'm not seeing any streakiness. This brush is blending really, really good. It's giving a very seamless, seamless blend. So now I'm gonna conceal it using Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in shade Light. I'm just gonna go under the eyes. I like to go up so that I can highlight my face. I'm gonna go in with the flat top again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set that concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and I'm gonna grab this lightest shade right here. I'm gonna be using the Luxie 836 brush, and it says here that this tapered kabuki is a dense brush that allows for precision and product pigmentation, resulting in a flawless application. That's set really nicely under the eyes. I really like that one. Now I'm gonna be using the Luxie 834 brush. It says, enhance your contour using the angled head of this dense brush, emphasizing your strong cheekbones. For this look, I'm gonna be cream contouring. I think that her look in the movie definitely looks flawless. It doesn't look like there's any powder on her face. It's definitely creams I feel they were using on Gal. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette, and this is in the shade Medium. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this dark shade along with the lighter one and start blending this into my cheekbones. I like to kind of cheat this a little bit and go up a little higher than where my cheek is, almost on my cheekbone, and then just bring it forward to make everything look really lifted. It says the 832 Beauty Buffer. The round shape of this brush is perfect to fight against streaks and harsh lines and ensure your face is blended with ease. So this will be perfect to kind of set things. So to set all this bronze, I'm gonna go into my Chrissy Teigen and Becca palette. I love the bronzer in this palette. They do sell these bronzers alone, but I believe this bronzer was specific to this palette only. So this color is just amazing. I love it. So I'm gonna pick a little bit of this up on the Beauty Buffer. I mean, just a tad, nothing too crazy. And I'm just gonna go over those areas and just lightly set them. So I do wanna contour my nose today. I normally don't do that, but for this look, it's a little bit more glam. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use my JD Weighty Luxie brush. This is for nose contour. This is the 182, and I'm gonna pick up 
my next highlight and contour tool palette, I'm going to grab this really cool tone color to contour with. Now I'm going to grab the highlight shade and just place that right in the center of the nose. So for our highlight today, we're going to be using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm going to go ahead and grab a mixture because why not? I'm going to grab a little bit of Santorini and then this gold one down here. So the thing that's amazing about this brush is you could use this for highlighting, you could use it to set all of your face with powder, you could use it to bronze with. This brush is honestly probably the most versatile in the bunch. I think you could definitely use this anywhere, body, I mean everything. Oh yes. So we're gonna go for a really peachy blush today. I'm gonna grab my Benefit California blush. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the A34 Angle Buffer and use this for blush. We use this for contour, but it looks honestly perfect for blush as well. I'm just gonna lightly dust that onto the cheeks. Beautiful and natural flush, I love it. Before we do the lips, I'm gonna hop back into the eyes and finish off the lower lash line. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop liner and Overboard. This looks really good. This looks kind of like a bronze brown. I'm gonna pick up the shade Stephanie, which is a really pretty kind of coppery, shimmery shade. And I'm just going to lightly blend this into that lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop some mascara on my lower lashes. This mirror is really coming in handy. I really like this. I don't normally hold a compact when I do my makeup, but now I feel like I really want to. I love the zoom mirror in it. I think it's just really helpful. So we have two lip options. You can go for a nude like gal, or you can go for the classic Linda Carter, classic Wonder Woman red. I'm gonna go for the nude first and then I'll show you guys the red. I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner. This is in natural. This is a really nice nude shade for any color. I mean, it goes with everything. And for lips, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Be Legendary Lip in the shade Bad. This is a beautiful nude. It still enhances your lips, but it gives a very soft touch to the look. I'm gonna show you guys the classic Wonder Woman Red. I'm gonna be using the Move and Mouth Liquid Lipsticks by Flirt Cosmetics, and this is the shade Rosebud. So now that our face is just beat to death, we are ready to take over the world. Nobody's stopping us today. We gotta set our face because we want to lock everything in the whole entire day. So I'm gonna be using my Slay All Day Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics in Mango. All right, the look is done. We just need some finishing touches and we are Wonder Woman. All right, beauties, so this is the final Wonder Woman look. I took a lot of inspiration from the new Wonder Woman movie. I love the way this look turned out, and if you did too, be sure you like this video, subscribe, and share with friends. I absolutely loved, loved the Luxie brush set. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It worked amazing. I'm keeping this forever. I'm so, so happy that I got to do this look today. It was so much fun, and I absolutely loved every second of it. I hope you guys did too, and please let me know down below if you did in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching today. Go take on the world, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight.